Hello everybody. What a great day in Berlin. What an experience. Uh, and the end credits are rolling of a very famous film that we all love, Octopussy. And of course, I'm not alone. I brought Octopussy. The Bond Club Germany brought Octopussy. And here she is, Maud Adams. Hi there. Hi to everybody in the Bond Bulletin. <laughs> Shall we go in? Yes. Do the Q&A? Yes. And here's the crowd. Oh, wow. metal guns or any blank shooting guns on the set, they have to have um, an armourer on set and that costs more money. Um, I think the best uh, case for this is Octopussy. I think you used a rubber gun uh, while in the, in the palace fight at the end. Uh, these guns were made of rubber as well. The Octopussy badge is here. Uh, this was Octopussy's uh, logo. Um, Blue Ring Octopus, obviously, deadly, uh, as Octopussy was herself. And this is another full head cast of Richard Keel, obviously. This was, um, this was, uh, before? Was it for stuntmen? For stuntmen. This would have, well, this would have been for prosthetics, or maybe if you had cut stunt. And this was, um, this was with The Spy Who Loved Me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because after The Spy Who Loved Me, he had this lump cut out of his head. He had this lump on the front of his head, and afterwards he had it operated out, so you can tell that this was before he filmed yeah. Moonraker. Ah. Uh, it was a growth, because he was obviously such a big guy, he had growths going on all over the place, so he was 2 meters 18 uh, was his size, yeah. So. And this is actually personally my favourite, this was a lovely photo of... Um, oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Uh, of you and Roger. Yeah, I've um, not seen that And before. I think, no, the, the, well, nobody's ever seen these before. These yeah. photos have, have been in my possession since Hervé died. Really? Uh, and nobody's ever seen any of the photos in here. Uh, and I printed this one out actually for today. Uh, mm -hmm. Because you did, I think you did a photo shoot with Roger, with these... I do have another one with, with Hervé. At the front? Uh, yes, from the front. From the yes. front. Yes. And somebody taking this from the side, so I don't know if it's I, Hervé, because he had a camera with him. Possible, um, so yeah. he'd probably taken it from the side and it's just so nice to see this profile yeah. picture. So um, that's a fantastic photo there. So this was the one uh, worn by uh, Sebastian mm -hmm. Foucault. Uh, I'll come. I'll come. I'll come. <laughs> 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 this is the way you do it, right? Yeah. Nearly. You guys know, right? Yeah. Just your name. This is my moment. <laughs> yeah. The ones who are laughing 
<laughs> up on fence. <laughs> the others are the wives. <laughs> because I met a few bunch stars myself, I've actually performed magic for uh, Barbara Broccoli, the producer. Okay, and I thought now we have a mode here. It would be fun to uh, I could show the trick I did for Barbara at a premiere in Copenhagen. Yeah, you want to step on stage? Sure. Yes. Thank you. I told her earlier when we met uh, in the lobby that uh, I would do some magic and she said, promise you make me come back. <laughs> but I only had 10 seconds with Barbara Broccoli at this premiere and I was there as a sponsor to do magic for all the gala uh, premiere guests. And so I had to impress her fast, so I did something like this. Uh, <laughs> no. Have you seen that before? <laughs> 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 uh, can you hold your hands like this? from Copenhagen and two red balls. Yes. That would be a nice uh, Facebook update. <laughs> okay, so now, one, two, three, four, five, you close, six, seven. And you got two! <laughs> you know, there are some rules in magic. Never repeat a trick. But if you do it backwards, it's okay. So you get two this time, and you can use two hands to keep it safe. And I'll try to make one appear into my hand. It's empty, 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 empty. Watch. Ah, there it is, yeah. The hardest part is to get it back. <laughs> <laughs> so now, you've got two again. Check it out. <laughs> you can check it out. Oh! <laughs> Movie now. Wir schauen uns den Film an mit Maud Adams und sie wird sich ein bisschen erholen. She will relax for a time and we'll be back after the movie for a Q&A session here on stage and then we're done. So Great. I'm having fun, so... Oh, <laughs> that's good. That's good. Was war wirklich Ihr erster Gedanke, als Sie den Filmtitel Octopussy gehört haben? Oh, yes. I was a little shocked. I said, it can't be. It just seemed outrageous. I mean, I know the girls have sort of funny names and they're all wonderful and I wish I had one in, in, in The Man with the Golden Gun. But Octopussy? I mean, isn't that going a bit far? And I mean, that was my reaction. I thought, couldn't have happened, but of course, I mean, now it just rolls up to you. I mean, it's nothing in today's, you know, world, I guess. And I'm very proud to be Octopussy, honestly. <laughs> Ich habe mal gehört, ich weiß nicht, ob es stimmt, dass sie sich niemals Filme von sich selbst im Nachhinein anschauen, nur auf der Premiere und dann nicht mehr. Warum? I'm probably not the only person, only actor, to feel this way. It's so hard to watch yourself. I mean, you look at yourself and say, my God, I shouldn't have done that. I mean, I really shouldn't have done that. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> and I feel, um, I mean, there are a few times now that I see something, I say, well, you know, that wasn't all that bad. Why was I so critical at the time? But it's really difficult for many of us to, to, to watch ourselves. Um, I've become very self-conscious. And... Uh, I don't think it's unusual. Yeah. Okay. I want to thank Andrea and I thank all of you from the Bond Club. Many, many friends I've known for many years. And I have so it, it's really um, touching to me. I'm, I'm very happy to, that you all came here. I really appreciate you being here.